ओके फाइन ओके प्लीज कीप योर ऑडियो म्यूट किरण कुमार ओके नेक्स्ट द सेकंड स्ट्रक्चर इज आई हैव प्लस नाउन एंड द थर्ड स्ट्रक्चर इज आई हैव प्लस वी थ्री प्लस समथिंग एंड द लास्ट स्ट्रक्चर इज नॉट लास्ट put uh, the next structure is i use it to plus v1 plus something okay so these are the today's structures let's see one by one the first structure is i am gonna Okay. Please confirm. Is it audible? Is it uh, visible to you? Yes, sir. Yeah, fine. So I am gonna. The structure is today's structure is I am gonna. Gonna means going. Actually, this is a short form and informal way. Actually, generally we use in our language I am going. Instead of I am going in spoken English, we can use I am gonna. Okay. Actually, this is colloquial language, informal language. This is informal language, but in spoken English it can be used. Okay, so I am gonna, which means I am going to, which means I am going to. Actually, this structure is used for to express further intentions or plans. Means near future, the things which are going to be done in near future. Okay. in this context this structure can be used so i am gonna let's see some of the examples i am gonna start exercising more regularly instead of i am gonna we can use i am going to i am going to so both are right so i am gonna is a colloquial or informal way to express but it can be used in spoken english okay in written english we must write i am going to start exercising more regularly in spoken language we can use i am gonna start exercising more regularly okay in the same manner i am gonna read more books this year or else we can say i am going to read more books this year i am gonna try a new hobby or else we can use i am going to try going to try a new hobby next one i am gonna travel to a new country with going to we can write like this i am going to travel to a new country and the next one i am gonna learn a new skill which means i am going to learn a new skill so in this manner we can write this structure the structure is i am gonna okay fine i hope you understood guys have you understood hello hi yes okay kiran kumar ravi kumar amala venki i hope you understood okay now let's see some of the examples from your side okay please continue i am gonna yeah please tell me some more examples from your side
I am gonna watch a new movie. I am gonna in my career. I am gonna buy a new bicycle. Buy a new bicycle. Gonna next. Yeah, please continue. Pardon? Short box. Not clear. Your voice is not clear. Chat box. Check the chat box. I am going to check the chat box. Hello? Chat box low. Type uh -huh. this. Uh -huh. Okay, 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 okay. Fine, fine, fine. Yeah, I am going to learn Excel tomorrow. I am gonna play cricket tomorrow. I am gonna scold my brother tomorrow. Okay, actually, instead of writing in the chat box, please speak out. It will be useful to you, Mr. Venki. He's in our office. office. Okay, 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 right. Okay, fine. Let's see the next structure. The next structure, I have less noun. I have less noun. This structure is used to indicate possession or ownership of something. Means Possession, having, which means having. And a Kaligi one at one matter. Kaligi one at one. And the just, I have a cat. I have a car. I have a job. I have a book. I have a computer. So, I have. I have what? Means I possess, which means I possess. I possess a cat. I have a car, means I possess a car. I have a job, which means I possess a job, means we are the owner. We are the owner of this car. Okay, we are the owner of this book. We are the owner of computer, ownership, which indicates ownership. Okay, possession. It means possession. Okay, so by using the structure, we can create as many examples as we can. I have plus noun, just joining noun. That's it. It's very easy. Okay, now next, let's see next structure. The next structure is I have plus V3 plus something. Actually, this is called present perfect. Talking about uh, if we talk about tense, it is called present perfect. Okay, so the structure is used to describe actions or events that happened in the past but have a connection or relevance to the present. Actually, the action took place in the past but it has a connection to the present. And the funny past loan is a connection and the present. Present ki connect hai under the in action. Okay, at this time we can create. We can means in this sense we can create as many examples as we can. Okay, 
and also coming to the tense it is called present perfect means it can be expressed just finished actions <coughs> just finished any actions kuda mano ee oka tense ni use cheyochu anamata okay i have seen the movie before i have read that book already i have eaten breakfast i have eaten breakfast just now i have finished my work today i have spoken with my boss just now like this we can write okay let's see some more examples i have met my friend i have met my friend this month i have sorry here we are using i right i have watched a movie this year so here one thing you must notice i am using some keywords like uh, already just now today this month this year so these keywords can be used in present perfect ee keywords ni manam ekkada use cheyochu ante present perfect lo use cheyochu anamata okay your side please tell me some examples yes pick it up speak it out who is telling the examples ravi kumar amala venki i have sing a song yesterday not yesterday i have sung actually here we have to use v3 third form of the verb sing sang sung i have huh. sung a song okay when yesterday means uh, to yesterday today is uh, thursday i have sung a song actually here when you indicate yesterday or something else it must be in v2 the verb must be in v2 okay we should not use yesterday here when we want to express the keyword yesterday the verb must be in v2 okay next i have yeah please tell me i have i have learned sap recently i uh, already have told you please notice the keywords already just now today this month this year okay these keywords can be used with uh, i have plus v3 which means present perfect here we should use only v3 not v2 only v3 okay
या फ्रॉम वेंग की साइड आई हैव अपीयर्ड इन ए फॉर्मल ड्रेस टुडे I have arrived from London just now. Okay, fine. Okay, guys, I hope you understood this. Now, let's go to another structure. i use it to now we are going to learn the next structure i use it to plus v1 plus something so when we should use this use it to this use it to structure is use it to talk about past habits past actions or states that were true or occurred in the past but are no longer true or happening in the present means actually this structure is used for past habits past habits now we don't have that habit but we had in the past ante manaki gathamlo aa alavatu undedi ippudu ledu atuvanti tantas lo manam cheppali anukunnappudu this structure is used i use it to okay so దేనికి యూజ్ చేయొచ్చండి ఈ స్ట్రక్చర్ మనం మనకున్నటువంటి పాస్ట్ హ్యాబిట్స్ పాత అలవాట్లను తెలపడానికి యూజ్ చేయవచ్చు అనమాట అంటే ప్రజెంట్ లేవు ఇన్ ద ప్రజెంట్ వీ డోంట్ హ్యావ్ దోస్ హ్యాబిట్స్ ఓకే లెట్ సి హౌ వీ కెన్ యూస్ యూజ్ ఇట్ టు I use it to dance in my childhood days. I use it to dance in my childhood days. I use it to smoke. But not now. Kapudu nago alvaat unde di. Ipudu. లేదు ఐ యూజ్ టు విజిట్ మై అంకుల్స్ హౌస్ ఐ యూజ్ టు విజిట్ మై అంకుల్స్ హౌస్ బట్ నాట్ నౌ మీన్స్ నౌ ఐ ఆమ్ నాట్ విజిటింగ్ విచ్ మీన్స్ ఐ ఆమ్ నాట్ విజిటింగ్ నౌ ఐ యూజ్ టు వాచ్ I use it to watch movies but not now which means now I am not watching I use it to watch in my past okay in the past I use it to watch but I am not watching now okay I use it to sing songs which means I use it to sing songs in my college days i am not singing which means now i am not singing because already i have told you this structure is used for past habits we had these past habits means we had these habits in the past but not now okay next i use it to i use it to do a i use it to do my business which means i use it to do my business but not now now i am not doing my business then ardham endi nenu ippudu na business cheyaledu ani okay now please tell me some of the examples from your side i use it to okay. eat chocolates 
I use it to eat. But not now. Not now. Chat box. Chat box. Yeah, yeah. I use it to sleep day daytime. Okay, okay. I use it to sleep daytime. Daytime. Okay, fine. I use it to do, I use it to ride a bicycle last month, but. Right now, I don't ride. I use it to smoke, but not now. I use it to play cricket, but not now. Okay. Next. Okay, I hope you understood this structure also. Okay. So, this is use it to structure. This is use it to structure. Okay, let's see the next structure. I wanna. Wanna means want to. Wanna means what? Want to. I want to. This one also like uh, Donna. These also like Donna, which means I am gonna means I am going to. On the other hand, I am wanna means I want to. I wanna means I want to. I wanna after we have to use V1. After V1, something we have to use means we have to take something. Okay, for example, I want to go to the beach this weekend means I want to go to the beach. I want to instead of we can use I want to. I want to go to the beach this weekend. I want to watch a movie tonight. I want to eat pizza for dinner. I want to learn how to play guitar. I want to travel to Europe someday. Which means I want to travel to Europe someday. I want to learn how to play guitar. I want to eat pizza for dinner. I want to watch a movie tonight. Okay, now come on from your side. I wanna. I want to read the uh, pre read uh, exams. Uh, this I, want I wanna read for my exams. Okay, I want to read for my exams, which means. I want to read for my exams. For my exams. Okay. Do you want to express in this sense only? Yes, sir. Yeah, fine. Next. I wanna just we have to keep V1. That's it. V1 plus something. Okay. I wanna. Yeah, I wanna attend, which means I want to attend. My friends, today. I wanna.
learn spoken English. I wanna buy a car. Buy a new car. Very fine. Next start box. Start box. Yeah. I wanna buy a new laptop tonight. Very fine. I want to join SAP FICO this month. I wanna go to Kedarnath in September month. Okay, fine. Okay, have you understood? Please confirm. Yes, sir. Yeah, fine. So today we have learned. I am gonna means I am going to. I am going to plus V1 plus something. The next structure I have plus noun, which means possession, ownership. Okay, next I have plus V3 plus something it means present perfect this is used for the action which finished in the past but having connection to the present okay next i use it to structure so how how can we use this structure this structure can be used for past habits but not now means we don't have that habit now Okay, the last one. I wanna. I wanna plus B1 plus something. I wanna means I want to. I wanna means I want to. Okay, so these are the today's structures which we have covered. Now, let's see a story. Today's story. Here is a small story. Please read it out. Just wait. I will uh, share the screenshot. Uh, sorry, I will share uh, share the screen. Is it visible to you? Can you see the story? Please confirm. No, sir. No, no, sir. Just wait. No, please confirm. No, sir. No. Just wait. Actually, I'll join again. <laughs> 